Well, Tuesday, Jay Moore hosts the Action Sports and Music Awards, fueled by Mountain Dew. The best of action sports honored in one special night. Live performances by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Jay-Z, and more. Coverage begins with the Green Carpet Special at 8.30 Tuesday on ESPN. For more, log on to ESPN.com. The Action Sports and Music Awards coming your way on Tuesday. And speaking of action, we got more here at Martinsville as the yellow is out again. That will make it the 12th time today as the 68 of Rodney Sawyers out of Ridgeway, Virginia, spins his Dodge around the Spiridoff Ice Blue Mist Water Dodge. Brings out the yellow. And a moment ago, we were in commercial, and we got a new leader, this Axiom Chevy, made a pass. Dennis on the looking right behind Terry Cook. Little, little, little nudge there, gets him a little bit out of the groove. Dennis is going to pull up on the inside. He gets a nose up underneath him. Terry has to give him room, go down to the corner, beats him down to the corner on the bottom of the racetrack. A good textbook short track pass, Doc. And in football, we call that the bump and run. <laughs> and again, that's, that's four, four fresher tires versus Terry Cook's two fresher tires. So that's a four tire versus two tire pass also. And you saw Setzer's last win coming last June at Memphis. And Carlos Contreras, so that's a great run going. Just a moment ago, pulled down pit road in the Hot Wheels Dodge, and there was some smoke from beneath the rear of the truck. And typically at Marksville, when you see smoke coming out of the rear, you think of one of two things, gear and brakes. Exactly right. This, this is probably the toughest racetrack on the circuit for, for gears and for brakes. And uh, we, we tend to, tend to have a tendency to lose a lot of gears at this racetrack, more so than any other racetrack that we run. And well, Howard Comstock and Company, we'll check it out. We'll check with them in just a moment. We'll take a quick break and come back. It is Setzer, Cook, Bliss, Star, and Daughter the top five. A stern look from 42-year-old Dennis Setzer, who has command of the field here as laps are winding down. 35 to go at Martinsville, Virginia. 215 complete, and Setzer has come from back of the pack. 33rd starting spot in the Axiom Chevy to show the way. He has not won. Yet in 2002, his last win coming in June of last year at Memphis, Tennessee. Be a great day for Dennis Setzer. Crew Chief John Monson just came on board there this year. If they can hold on to this thing, but uh, it's not over yet. He's got some great guys behind him. Terry Cook, Mike Bliss, David Starr, another great run. And Bobby Dotter up in the fifth position. What a terrific run for Bobby Dotter. Can't say enough about the gene. And here's, here's John Wood in the Navy machine, the Navy battling through. Inside, Matt Crafton, side by side is Wood and Crafton. All those trucks are out there battling for position. Every one of those trucks in the lead lap. How about the youngster, 20 years of age, John Wood, hanging tough with the Navy colors. Shoving, pushing, Menards and Navy going at it. Ah, Martinsville speed, but don't you love it? Absolutely. You know John Wood would love to have a great run here, 25 minutes from home. One year anniversary of his very first NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series start. He began his career here in the trucks a year ago. And here's a possible pass for second spot. Mike Bliss on the outside going to pass Terry Cook. Here comes hey. David Starr. That is second, third, and fourth. Bobby Donner, by the way, back in fifth. Here comes Starr on the inside of Cook. Whoa, there's nearly contact as Starr jams on the brakes or else he would have gotten Cook in the quarter panel. Good heads up move by David Starr. He, he definitely would have spun out Tina down in there and probably himself. I think Terry's feeling the effects now again of, of the two tires. He's, uh, he's done a great job. He held the lead for a long time, but I think the two tires are going to get him. And there is Crawford, Quapple, Brendan gone. Jason Leffler, now Crawford goes to the inside, and there's contact. Crafton trying to hang on. He hangs on. Brendan gone taps Leffler. Now the contact between Leffler and Matt Crafton. Brendan gone now on the inside. Kenny Schrader's in that battle, too. He's still in the lead lap. There's Kenny's Federated Auto Parts Chevrolet. Folks, if you like this, tune in to the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. We got 19 more of these things coming Kenny, your way. Kenny Schrader says, I've got damage from my buddy Andy Petrie, so I, I'm going to rub on somebody. It doesn't matter to me. i got to find somebody to hit. Let's see that bumping one more time here. Yeah, they're coming off the corner. See Matt Crafton get run into from behind by Brendan Gaughan. Did a great job of saving the truck. 
Brennan had to go to the inside and miss Matt Kraft and Jason Leffler had already committed to the inside. They made contact. You're keeping score at home at 62 into the 68, off the two, into the into the 88. We got an 88, 88 in there somewhere. 88, yep. There, now there's some contact between the 14 and the 50. Right. That's the battle for the sixth position right there. John Wood in the 50 Navy truck in sixth. Rick Crawford in the seventh position. You think his granddad uh, Glenn and his mom and dad Eddie and Carol are enjoyed watching their young man doing this? That, it all depends. I'm not sure they're enjoying it right there with a little contact. But he's having a great run, though, doing a terrific job. But he's ta he's taking it, but he's also dishing it out a little bit. So that's pretty good for a young driver. Here goes Crawford back by. Now we'll see, see if Wood can catch him again. Down inside of 25 laps to go. So every, every pass right now is probably going to mean a mean a position. So and here Travis Quapple now tries to come up and make a move. Quapple. As we got some action back in a turn, there is Brian Rose in the Ford truck again. The Sunclair Energy's Dodge. And that will bring out caution number 13, putting us two away from tying the record. Not a record we want to tie, by the way. Brian's going the wrong way again on the racetrack. Is that parallel parking there, Doc? When I'm not not sure if he was making a statement on uh, his dislike for someone or just uh, trying to find room to turn around. It is very difficult to have enough room to get turned around. All right, from the Federated Auto Parts onboard camera, there's Matt Crafton on the inside. Up oh, and, yep. And Matt, right in the S of Sun Clears where he got him. And now we know why the four pulled up across the racetrack and uh, nosed up toward Matt Crafton. And how about our leading crew chief, John Monson, down on the Dennis Setzer pits. And after having the infraction, after qualifying, starting at the back of the pack, John, you seem to have made all the right calls, giving Dennis those four tires on that last pit stop. Is that indeed why Dennis is running so well right now? Well, we made a couple other changes this morning. The truck was good yesterday. But we, uh, we felt like we needed to be just a little bit better because of our starting position. We just made a mistake, and it, it was something that uh, I wish had never happened, but Dennis has made up for it for us. What do you tell your driver in these last 20 laps? I'm not going to tell him a whole lot because he's so smooth, and he's, he's raced here enough. He's got like a home field advantage, so I feel you know pretty good about it. There's still 20 laps to go. Don't ever count your chickens, right? All right, you guys. Well... They're confident, but not too confident. This is short track racing. Let's not forget. And Amy Dennis sets her 175 late model wins on short track, seven short track titles. He won a 100 lapper here at this famed Martinsville Speedway back in 1992, trying to get that big one here, though, today. Back in just a moment. 